Hey guys, Jay here and welcome back to the channel. So let's go over the current gas issues on chain, get you up to date and then provide an alternative that you can use to get over this problem that everybody seems to be having. We'll explain all of the ins and outs, why it's happening and what could possibly affect it in the future. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, everybody seems to be buzzing about this on Twitter. I myself have loads of different methods of getting around an issue like this. So when something doesn't work in one place, I tend to go to another place to find that information. Now, with that being said, the issue is happening for a very specific reason. And this has all happened under a certain set of events. The issue itself resides in tax calculations behind the scenes. So let me give you an example. You send 1 million LUNC for your transaction and Station sends the simulation for that at 1 U Luna, regardless of the actual amount. And this happens because gas fees typically don't depend significantly on the amount you send. And the chain cannot calculate a tax on 1 U Luna as it's the smallest unit available in denominations. So this results in no Oracle or community pool split for the tax, which normally consumes a significant amount of gas. So now we know about the issue, how do we get it corrected? And the answer to that is Terra Money. They are the ones responsible for that repository for station itself. So there's three proposals that are actually relevant to this current situation we're going through. And the first one is 12098, changing the reward share distribution of the burn tax. This is what initially set that breaking state into play. So moving over to the next proposal would be 12118, upgrade 3.13. And this was to change the Oracle split logic. This further broke station, leading it to the current state it's in at this moment in time. So what is currently happening is the proposal 12115 is going through stages of implementation. And what we're going to see is even more breaking of that station system. So now that we've seen these three proposals, we can tell that there is a very substantial lack of communication between everyone behind the scenes. And this really does boil down to this common issue we've got going on, which is centralization and that circle of information getting smaller and smaller. And with that happening, it's leading us to poor implementation timelines that are breaking things that need to be functional at all times. These are main infrastructure tools that we use and utilize every single day. Anyone or any development teams working on this blockchain have a duty to perform upgrades in a safe manner that is not going to leave us all in a scenario like this. So if we actually head over to the issue section of the Terra Money GitHub, we can see that we've got 10 open issue requests. Now, inside these issue requests, if we dig a little bit deeper, we can see that our main man, Strafe Cole, has got a pull request there for them. And this itself should fix that estimation in the transactions. And all we need is Terra Money themselves to go in, check that, and merge it into that repository. So hopefully we have reached out to Chris Armani himself. He does follow me on Twitter and we have been in spaces with them previously. Now, if we take a look at recent news that TFL has made available to us, we can actually see that they're going to be reopening the Terra Shuttle Bridge. And this is going to be for the redemption of wrapped assets on Terra Classic. So for anybody wanting to use and utilize their coins and wanting to bring them back on chain, it's going to be a very useful tool, aside being your everyday go-to application when dealing with our blockchain. Now, let me show you what I am using and utilizing to get around these problems that everybody else is having. And the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself Kepler Wallet downloaded and this is just the same as station just recover your wallet follow the instructions we've got tutorials here on the channel there's links to that at the end of this video and this will enable you to send and receive coins 
when it comes down to governance, you're going to want to use and utilize the all nodes system. And this is a really good system. You can grant from here to your wallet and use it in sync with your mobile station on your phone. I will be providing another tutorial, which will be going out later today, which will also be linked at the end of this video. And as you can see here, I can vote on governance. I can make delegations. I can undelegate. I can withdraw my rewards and I can also utilize auto compound. So I am using these two products in tandem to avert this problem. Allnodes is relatively simple to use. Just go to their homepage. I'll provide links to both Kepler Wallet and the Allnodes system in the description box below. Just make an account here and then that's going to take you to this section and you're going to be able to simply click monitor, select the blockchain, find Terra Classic and then paste your address in here. Start watching and that's going to be able to present you with all of these options you're seeing here. So what I want to do now is kind of give you my perspective of what I believe is happening. There's a severe amount of centralization happening on chain. And what this is leading to, to generalize the issue down is poor implementation of upgrades that are very poorly coordinated. This leads to an unhappy customer, an unhappy validator, and an overall unhappy system, which becomes unusable during one of the most important times of crypto being the all important bull cycle. Now, when we look at two of the biggest crypto crashes in history, we're presented with Luna and FTX. And Luna itself was run by a centralized body being TFL who implemented poor upgrades, which led to an exploit in the market module. And if we take a look at SBF at the head of FTX, we are hit with mismanagement of funds, embezzlement, and many other things that were swept under the rug. And this really tells us that centralization in a lot of ways leads to poor outcomes. And the thing that makes our blockchain so attractive is the decentralized aspect that allows you, developers, validators, and any average Joe that would like to be involved in crypto become involved with no bars. And I think the community here need to begin to address the situation and understand that we sit where we are right now because of centralization. So when we begin to reflect on the situation and we look at the cause that has led to the effect that is currently happening, we begin to really digest what exactly is going on. You can see that on the repository, they are gatekeeping in a centralized manner that is preventing us from solving an issue that is affecting our blockchain. And then furthermore, we can see that three proposals in tandem have led to a series of centralized decisions that have not been communicated with others who could have possibly helped remedy this before it became an issue on chain. So now that we've gone over absolutely everything that there is to go over with this gas issue, with solutions and anything that there was relevant to this situation, I hope you got a good understanding of what exactly is going on, why it's happening and what you can do to get around it and how we could possibly remedy that issue in the future. So guys, if you enjoyed the content here, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notifications bell to stay informed and I'll catch you in the next one.